Welcome back to the not stream, but the video itself, the Dodge <laughs> edits. And you should really respect him because he does a lot of editing. I'm no, Matt. I don't this do that much roll. editing on these. <laughs> these are the easiest things ever. It's literally don't just out like... Don't yourself. I was hyping you up. <laughs> People can tell. You ruined Let's it. Look at it. <laughs> All Anyways, right. we're going to play um, Pathological 2. Yeah. Uh, well, he's going to play it. I'm going to watch because I'm lazy. Yeah, I I never played the first one. I don't know what any of this is about. <laughs> But oh, no, like, it oh looked Christ, cool. tell me. It looked really cool when I, I saw it the first time, and then, like, I don't know, it's just weird. Dogs. So, like, is it a spook game? Mm. Spooky? It's weird and dark. I hate the dark, so. Hello, man. I hate this game. I don't know about the story, but I hope you enjoy the play. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, Baruka, your performance was a flop. You're unfit for the role at Curse Production. This is our second attempt and a second failure. First run was decent. That is uh, not for you to judge. It's not our fault you put us into these inhuman conditions. Whew. Sounds like most stage, stage management in general. <laughs> Left control to highlight players. So the whole idea if is to... Closely enough. Jesus Christ, he got quick. He cut up close real quick. Lines. Just kind of like when you're talking to somebody and they're just getting a little too close and you're just like, hey, ah! Yeah, exactly. You back up a little bit. <laughs> they don't trust me anymore. I wasn't, I wasn't even invited to the final council. Imagine what kind of advice you would have given them. Heard him. Heard him. I knew the student work who'd like <clears throat> talk to you while he's staring at his phone. <laughs> and and you think he's gonna like show you something so you you walk up and you like start to look at his phone and then you cover his phone and like like jump away from you instantly and it's Dude, like I'm looking at okay. my porn get out of here so after like a month of that like not every single day but every like after a month i was just like i'm not listening to you anymore i'm just gonna go back to work the sweet tabbyite shows had no fur and no nose on eight paws he would linger on his tail was a stinger. So it was a scorpion. <laughs> he has some really intense eye contact here. I know, they're just kind of like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why the happy face? How many have you revived? You should be ashamed people believed in you. What? Oh, well, anyway, I got somebody up there. All right, so everyone's depressed, basically. Well, yeah, there's like, as far as I can tell, there's a uh, massive outbreak. Ooh, that frame drop, though. <laughs> uh, there's a massive, like, outbreak. It's like killing everybody. Want to receive your payment? Well, everyone will get paid what they're due in the cathedral. That's where the final choice will be made. By whom? I like, I like him. Hey, he's a plague doctor. Just as far as I can tell. Executor, like the Pokemon. The authority is fitting. Uh, Where the I fuck are these shadows glasses. being cast from? Ooh, take a look at that. Look, look at the lights. I am. Look at the lights. That's why I'm saying. Where are these shadows being cast from? They're either up there or it's a representation. Look at Executor. It's a representation of like all the birds that were there. I guess. And they they died slowly over time or something. Either that. It's, it's or... symbolism, dude. Read into it. But I don't read. <laughs> I can't read. I can't read. Marty, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, why I I can't read. But. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. Don't leave probably, more, probably more episodes of that out. Yeah, I still haven't watched anything past the first episode of this season. Pretty good, man. I just work when it's on, so... <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I have Amazon. Like, I, ha I bought it on Amazon. You can literally just log into my account. In fact, anyone on YouTube can log into my account. 
It's um Matthew. Ma no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello, I lady. My, I lost my glasses at the beach last night. <laughs> How did you manage that? Because I was <laughs> with this girl I've been seeing, Silence and then I like squatted down in the sand after she had been complaining about the quality of the sand the entire time. I shit you not, that's that's like a serious thing. I'll get to that later. But I was squatting in the sand, like trying to enjoy the view. You know, a little drunk, like I had a few. <laughs> and then she was just like, what are you tired? And then shoved me into the sand. And I assume that's when I lost my glasses. And uh, you point. just threw the matter in and that's when you lost them. <laughs> I wish I threw the, the matter, like at this point. <laughs> The source is ca the the sand is coarse and gets everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is up with this guy? Look right, at his so, eye. <laughs> like he had a stroke or something. It's a glass eye. I mean, maybe, but it's moving. <laughs> glass eyes can still move, I believe, right? No, they pretty much stay fairly oh, well Oh, not back then, actually. Yeah, you're making you're making a good point there. Heed my advice. You think she loves you. You should think she's a friend and he's a foe because he brought in cannons. Don't talk to her first. Talk to him. This game's a loose cannon. <laughs> oh, what, what the fuck? fuck? I don't know. Mom! Okay. So they're just like flaming this field for no reason? Uh, no, I think they're killing infected. Or what they believe to be the infected. Ah. Uh. Jesus Christ, the frame rate. I right, hold on, hold on. I have to chase these set it. The fucking, um, Akira Yamaoka was. A brilliant musician. I was about five or six years old when I played my first Resident Evil game and my first Silent Hill game. And my mom was at work. We were living in the projects in South Boston. And we rented it from Blockbuster, like <laughs> those two games. Not knowing what it was about. <laughs> yeah, and I had to have my grandma sit next to me. <laughs> And I could not play. I got two spooks. That's too much of a bitch. <laughs> I think I made it through like two or three rooms of Resident Evil, and then had to turn it off. My grandma like couldn't figure out the fucking console, so she just turned the the TV, TV off. off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like if you can't see it, it can't get scary anymore. Right. PlayStation One, man. Good time. Real good time. Dude, back when I... How old was I? I don't even remember how old I was when I played... Like, I first messed with the, uh... I those games. Uh, I think the first one I enjoyed was Res 4. And I was probably, like... 13? You think, though. Tell me. Like, what What do you... What, when did you play your first Res game? Uh... First time at home. I was when it was fairly new on the PlayStation. Uh, so it would have been at, probably after the second one came out. So like 97. Gotcha. So you're, you're what, like five years old than me? Four. You're four years old than me. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> 97, man. That was actually like a highlight of games. 97 to 2000. Yeah. I mean, it's like I, I still enjoy the original Resident Evils more than I do the newer ones. Um, yeah. Well, they're well, they're, the newer ones aren't bad, but like it just kind of feels like things are disjointed and they just don't make sense. Oh, Silent seven Hill. just seven <laughs> just feels like Res Seven feels like um you're kind of just forced to do things like it's a linear path, it even though there are linear, options. But like at the same time, it is very much like the original Resident Evils. So like yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, eight just feels like four, just in a different way. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. It just doesn't feel like it fits in the universe. Yeah, I feel like, um, <clears throat> what is it, Village? That's eight. So, yeah. 
it, it looks like it's a lot more action packed than the jump scares and all that. It's not scary at all. Like I, I ran through that game so fucking fast. Yeah. Seven scared the shit out of me. Like even if I went to go play it right now and did a brand new like playthrough, I would, I would absolutely get spooked one hundred percent. Every single time Mia comes through that fucking wall, I get scared. Um. Right. Let's focus on this. Uh, fucking, I don't know. No, Baraka. If you told me you had three tank cars of the Panacea and an army of doctors to cap the city for its capital ready to administer, uh, as it stands, there's no going back. It's too good a risk. Don't. You're, you're, <laughs> I was going to say you literally pick every second option, and I would think that in this case, it would actually be pretty good. You can put a horse on the stand. I would just try and rationalize with as many people as possible, unless they look crazy. Well, these are the two people that are, like, um, in charge, as far as I can tell. Okay. And, like, what they say is, like, the final say about what things are going on. Yeah, an Inquisitor is, like, someone who goes out and gets information, like, decides, like, tells the general what, like, here are your options. Uh, we already decided everything without you. You've been, you've come uninvited. What did you decide? Who are you to demand reports from us? A backwoodsman, a self-taught doctor practicing barbaric traditional medicine. Oh, but I know who you are. You're the person I was very wrong to put my hopes on. The person who let me down out now. I need one more day. Hey, you over there, seize this man and throw him out. Oh, you're fucked. You should have picked the second one. <laughs> All of you, please listen to me. Oh, shit. Things changed. We're all strong enough to support one another's misfortune. So you insist on a second attempt, huh? Stubborn. A first one. Not a second, a first one. All right, let's roll then. Let us imagine that the last train has not yet left the station. Just don't be late. All right, let's roll. We. Oh. I'm on the table. Oh. I'm on the table. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we are Artemy Baruka. Uh, Baruka. Uh, so here's the object of the game. Where it all begins. Oh, so you're meant to kind of just fail that either way. Yeah. What the hell? What the hell is that? Hello, man. <laughs> you're a surgeon. Does he have a concussion? Can you tell? I mean, realistically, I like how he politely to... shuts it. <laughs> I need somewhere to sit, so. Oh. Hi. How did you know that? How did you get inside this coffin? Me, you were the one in the coffin. Why did you crawl in there? You mean this train. A coffin is the best means of transportation in the world. It can get you to unimaginable places. True. Uh, true. Do that one though, if you want. Do we... Oh, train stopping. Or crashing. <laughs> hey viewers, we're gonna play Man of Medan later this week too, and it's gonna be pretty good. Four to take out your lamp. Take out your lamp. What am I? What am I doing with the lamp? What's the um? Oh, afterlight lamp. Okay. What's the other game they make? Man of Medan people. Who to do the uh, um? You know Man of Medan. Video no. game? I have never heard of this. That is Big Cow. What? We literally talked about this yesterday. Did we? <laughs> it's the, um, like, ghost, like, military ghost wreck. Ghost ship wreck. Look at his balls! Jesus Christ! Big as me, Jesus Christ. I feel really... <laughs> significant now. <laughs> Railroads are beautiful. They always lead to one place you can't turn from, except when there's a silly mistake, like this crash. Dying just to escape fate. Stupid, boring. What I would is say, that? What is that monster? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ahead or behind? Um. Behind me. Yeah. That is Boss Troch. 
a creature of steep legends from which the world was created. What was step. he trying to achieve here? It's... What? Is it not step? Am I an idiot? <laughs> what, what step? A creature of, of, of step legends. Steep is spelled S-T-E-E-P. That's with two P's. I don't know! <laughs> oh, you're the idiot. Okay. <laughs> Life can never prevent death. Uh, what is ahead then? Why the fires? As you can see, the blood no longer flows in this artery. There's a clot. You're a doctor, aren't you? Do you have medicine with you? What clot? What are these? What are those black flakes? How should we know? You're the doctor, not us. Go on and go and see. We're only ensuring no other trains are derailed. We'll fix yours too once the beast leaves the tracks. Um. Um. We're going foot then. Okay. I think I'm dead. <laughs> what the fuck? I think I'm what the dying. actual fuck just happened? So now what? You redo that? And you have to pick all the right options again? Oh. You were on them bones. He's playing dice by himself? Yeah, I guess. Want to share secrets? You Why? first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to try and get some, as much information from this guy as possible, you know? Yeah. I'm worried people won't be so happy to see me in the town. What if they shun me like some mutt and slam doors in my face? What if my toll is too small? What? I could fail to meet my goal, but maybe this is one anxiety. Yes, I can do it. The middle two seem like they're they're good. Recruiter? Like, I want to know why he doesn't want to... Why he isn't riding first class. <laughs> I mean, look at him. He looks pretty shabby he's just a bad tax recruiter that's it <laughs> uh not really your turn now be honest and your fate will change that's how it goes tax recruiter i'm a tax collector <laughs> um that I'm one seems pretty good too i'm a surgeon i could become a good doctor but i can't find myself i'm game What, what are the stakes? stakes? Your fate. Person can't lose um, their fate. So, was he gonna roll? I don't know. Oh. It was probably just some bullshit to try and get something to have happen. Door. Oh, okay. Hi. I'm scared. I would leave. <laughs> Shuts the door. Okay, so like, you didn't shut that door. That's extremely rude. Oh, they don't live. Someone heavy. I hear heavy steps in the dark. I can't see you. Are you deaf? You're feverish. You're feverish. Water. I'm so thirsty. I need a drink of fresh water. Please bring it to me. Where do I get it? Outside, in the yard, hard to talk. Me when I haven't had alcohol for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Loot! Empty bottle? Um, a spindle on an empty bottle? I don't know. The side. <laughs> empty bottle. Empty bottle. <laughs> Need that or money? What is that fingernail? What? Oh. That's a coin. Yeah, it's a specific type of coin for the fairy. Uh, they, they call it a fingernail. I think so. Hello. What a big man. Oh jeez. Okay. Look at his crotch. With the fact that he actually has like a defined dong. <laughs> Why does everyone have bigger balls than this? <laughs> Us? <laughs> uh, get water. Oh, 
This might be what's ca causing the fever. What, the shitty it's water? Like sh yeah, shitty water. That's exactly what I was about to say. What the fuck? He's in a coffin now. Hello. Um, that's different. Hey. He's mine! <laughs> oh. I have a feeling he's one of these, uh, doctors. The, uh, one doctor. of the bird doctors? Yeah. Bad dream? Why did you wake me up? Um. Yeah, dream. So you want me, want to meet your dad? Yes. Me too. Why have we stopped? Are we there already? And then you're out there, and then oh. back to the bird. Oh, okay. Hello. That it's hard to make. It's hard to make midday or like morning creepy. This will be interesting. That mother but a hole. But a hole. But a hole? Uh, caress your step. Call boon. Can I give you some advice? What? <laughs> Never but a hoe. <laughs> I mean, try for the best. Don't want to get catch yourself a disease. Um, you haven't forgotten your people, have you? I mean, you by you people. <laughs> Who is the judge? We hear Earth with our hearts. The heart has a pulse, so does Earth. If they sing in harmony, you hear the language of Earth and herbs. Language of warmth and cold. Look, Tangayar. <laughs> and listen, whose words are all around? What does Earth say? A lot of time passed. You were gone. You forgot many things. Your heart is spoiled. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see if it's rotten. How can you see that? The fight will show. I'll take a look. Cue to raise your fist. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Is okay. fighting in this? Yeah. Oh yeah, uppercut it. I'll hold. Fuck <laughs> you. Yeah, okay, I get it. My stamina's low, attack weaker. Build back up. There we go. Oh, you ducky. Ow. Ow. <laughs> that animation's hilarious. Ow, he fucking just kicked me. Not all attacks can be blocked. Ow! Put my fist down. That's the fist. Oh. Spill his blood! Oh shit. <laughs> oh, he fucking gave you the one too. Ow, fuck! Jesus. Give me the old razzmatazz there! Block. Fire! <laughs> Oh, can you end him? <laughs> you were so him. bored. It's like, uh, mm. that wasn't the best. I've had better. <laughs> Let us trade hearts, Cole Boon. Uh, let's become kin. What need do you have of mine? Isn't it rotten? A river of good washes away a drop of rot. There's no me and you. There's a people. I'm not going to try and say that. Mix your gangue. flesh with ours. Hey, hey, but run away. Give me Change your heart. heart. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Uh, accept. Now have a what good if you living don't heart. Don't take the heart. What if you uh -huh. just start eating the crap out of them again? To be like, oh, fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the juggernaut. Oh, hey, it's not this game. Oh, there you are. We're almost there. Are you relieved? Oh, yes. yes. Can't wait to get there. Just can't wait. Just like we're riding in circles. Well, it was nice passing the time. Good luck with your father. I'm sure he can't wait. Good luck to you two. Huh. 
light the lamp and then just smack it against his head. Hey! Hmm. Oil on your face. My dear son, Artemy. I write to you after so many years apart in the hopes that you may find a way to return to us. Something worries me. I fear a difficult trial approaches. You're married, right? You have a wife. That your studies me? have proven fruitful. Yeah, you. No. And that you have achieved you have a great girlfriend? skill no. as a surgeon. Oh. Such skill might be of I was going to ask you for advice, but never mind. I remain the only physician <laughs> in this town. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> old. I need an assistant. He needs an assistant. Mm. So do Smoked I. meat. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know. Is that like sinister laughter or is it just like regular laughter? Ah, oh, crazy giggle people. <laughs> See? Anytime, I'm, anytime I'm at a party from from now on, I'm gonna be like, "You crazy giggle people!" <laughs> and start laughing. I feel like they oh, didn't fuck. finish this. <laughs> I feel like it's just like old, you know, like decrepit. Crazy giggle people. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's louder in here, or at least I got it to go off again. I don't know. Sounds like it. Loot! I like that they show like the drawers and everything on the little... Yeah, that's a, it's a very interesting mechanic. That reminds me of res, like when you're trying to adjust your inventory. <laughs> yeah. The most annoying thing in the world, shifting around all your stuff so that you can... Yeah. Grab I up need like this, one I herb. need these two shotgun shells to fit. <laughs> Crusty the clown here. This. <laughs> oh, we're still in the intro for this. Jesus, how long is this game? Dude, I have no idea. I told you, I know nothing about this game, and I could figure out nothing from the little bit that I played of it. I just feel so uh, random. Yeah, it does. What's the name of it again? Pathological Fan? 2. Pathologic 2? Pathological. Pathologic 2. What? 70 hours of this? Jesus Christ. It takes I mean, at least 70 hours. What, to just do a run through? Yep. Fucking hell. That's a full ass game, dude. That's a long ass game. That's like your average, like. JRPG? Early 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> so, JRPGs go for like 90. That depends on which one you're doing and how good or bad you are. <laughs> Especially Persona. Well, that's a first run through. The second run through is like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know all the answers to everything. Am I able to? I don't know if I can even save yet. The worst is it auto saves and then you can manually save at some point. Yeah. <clears throat> you hit hard for a hunchback, but whoa, boy, you screwed up. Those three guys are dead. I saw you do it too. You're gonna be in serious trouble. Uh, what kind of doggy are you? I'm a watchdog <laughs> and I watch out for your soul. No, wait, I'm a guide dog. I'm gonna guide your soul to its rightful place where you, when you die. I'll definitely die if I don't stop this bleeding. If only I had a bandage. Here you go, a tourniquet. Used to be my leash, but it seems like you need it more. Uh, thanks, you're a nice kid. <laughs> and you really have some anger problems, don't you? Zing, pow, blam. Three guys dead. This ain't the right way. Ain't how we do things around here. Around here isn't anywhere special. This town is special. I mean, the folks are ordinary, but the town 
I know, I was born here. Well, you gotta be nicer. Just hit them three times, max. Send them running and let them run. You don't actually have to kill everyone who bothers you. Jeez. Safer my way. <laughs> uh, press left control. Oh, I saw people to talk to. Huh? That's weird. Anyway, uh, inventory. Um. Tourniquet menu use. Um. Use. Ooh, chestnut. Use. Oh, my hunger went down. Oh, wait, no, my hunger went up. So the red is bad. Yes. Okay. I think I'm getting a little bit more acclimated to what any of this is. I took the words out of my mouth. Um. A bird's bad fortune. So, like, if you throw that charm on for, like, a certain segment... I would use it when you're talking to the birds like this or that other guy. Like... And why is there only two birds here when there are, like, five left? Touch? Oh, no, that's just examining it, basically. I think there's, like... It's like a time thing involved. Dude, I don't know. Which is why, like... What, you remember the shadows, right? Of all mm -hmm. the birds? So I, yeah, think I think that's what these guys are. Apply. Right. But I think I'm gonna have to, like, recycle through at least more than one time. Yeah, definitely. Well, Baruch, you're nearly dead. Got a few minutes left. I'm here to announce your demise. Are you with that crowd? Man, this one is a, like a 66% on Steam. <laughs> of course I'm not. It, it they doesn't were... seem like a terrible game. Sorry. No, it's just, it's just weird. Like, it's very hard to figure out what the fuck's going on. Yeah. They were just peaceful townsfolk, craftsmen, factory workers, good sons and fathers. But me, I'm much more dangerous. I'm the mask of fate. Peaceful, like I, said, yeah, right. I thought you said Pizza Town for a second. <laughs> pizza Town. <laughs> Founded by Guy Fieri. Yeah. Actually, no. It'd be, ever, it would be next to. It would next to be. It'd be next to Guy Fieri's town. It'd be like mm. right off of Flavor Town. <laughs> the subdivision of Flavor Town. Yeah, it's just like right on the outskirts. <laughs> so, what did you want to tell me? Uh, you've been bashed on the head several times and the locals fists are heavy and one of those four stab wounds look deep looks deep Significant blood loss too and your local climate is unforgiving in terms of strain. Do you have any heart conditions? None Your heart is a mess. I'm guessing you haven't even eaten in several days and that you didn't sleep last night Did you that's what I thought so your hunger and exhaustion are critical too. I wonder which of these afflictions will be the death of you first So what's your plan? I'm going to die, so be it. Ha, oh, fatalism. That's pretty much the answer I would give in real life, but I think we should have went with the other one. Ah, fuck him. <laughs> ah, fatalism looks cute on you. Better not to make proclamations like that without gritting your teeth. Promise. Oh my god. Do we have a boyfriend now? <laughs> I mean... We have a thing friend? <laughs> He's flirting with us. I don't think, he has, I don't think he has a head, though. <laughs> Uh, problem is your teeth have almost been knocked out, so clenching your jaw is hard. Fatalism's much more fun when you got when you've got options, isn't it? I'm done with you. Piss off. <laughs> That's what you'd say in real life. <laughs> oh, we haven't talked to one of these things. Be quiet. He must not hear your voice. Lean close. He only speaks in lies and wants you dead. I'll be damned. Does everyone want me dead? Have you seen um any Hayao <laughs> Hayao Miyazaki movies. Yeah, the the you're talking about the no faces. Yeah, it reminds yeah. me of um, no face, and it reminds me of uh, Princess Mononoke, the little spirits. Yeah. Little dudes well, who I hang do out believe, in the, the I trees. I do believe that's a, a a common spiritual occurrence thing in Japanese uh, art, yeah. classic art and literature. Um, do not go home, Barack. Stay clear of home. In town, you have some friends yet. Do you? Do you not? Let me guess. Father isn't happy with me, isn't he? Yes, three of them. We were inseparable when we were kids. The town is yours, Barai. You may you soon find how deep, how far its roots run down your spine. May you inhabit it, sink through its pores, learn vein and artery, nerve and blood and cell. You no, need no home beyond the town itself. Forget that place you so eagerly seek. I beg forgiveness. Grievous harm will come to me should I tell you more than I can. 
Octavius Writing's really me. good, but it's just like confusing as hell. Well, yeah, it's because they haven't really explained much. Yeah. We just know, and it's it's probably because neither of us have played the first game. I have a feeling these uh, plague doctors are like basically. I don't want to say versions of you, but like very similar to you, where they failed at. Yeah, they at were the failed. Fixing the town, yeah. Yeah. Like that's as far as the story in my mind that we can get. Yeah, like that makes sense. Uh, drink. All right, we <laughs> should be we should be good now. Okay, there's nothing here. Okay. Can you put stuff in there and then like? Oh yeah, you can always put you can put stuff anywhere. Okay. <clears throat> like anywhere that you have. You know. Gotcha. Locked. Let's see what these hangers oh. are about. The rest of them appear to be locked. Oh, that was just a barrel. No train? Okay. <laughs> you ever done that thing as a kid where you got in a barrel and get pushed down by like your uh your brother or cousin or something no but i used to jump down a flight of stairs from like the top of them uh, i used to roll down them <laughs> i found it hilarious my mom would be like stop yeah we used to put like a bunch of blankets down up against the door and then just like flop down oh i went no blankets probably explains a lot <laughs> the brain damage <laughs> brain demo uh, what <laughs> dude like this stuff is fucking expensive what the hell that, that piece of pie looks pretty good. Pemmican. Meat, fruit, and fat? Oh, wow. That sounds fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, just put a bunch of lard in and put some baking stuff on it and, you know, call it a day. Bird's edible. Nobody's died. <laughs> <laughs> People don't live long, but it hasn't killed anybody. What the fuck is anything? Everything's locked. The fuck is everything? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> nice try. Um, she's just <laughs> walking straight into that mill. Yep. <laughs> Oh, Hold use on. the boxes. There you go. Huh. I'm trying. Are you I think, serious? I think uh, I don't have the uh, jumpy ability. Hear that? I'm just that broken at this point. My dead grandmother could jump up those boxes. Or get rolled, you know. Just like the stairs. <laughs> um, I thought it was open over here. Son of a bitch. Maybe the way you came from, you can go around this fence. The gut. We. <laughs> nope. Uh -oh. So maybe that direction, there's a way out. All right, let's see if there's anything that I can like. Something about a key here. Ooh. A place. <laughs> nice this man. guy again. How did he get from the shop to over here? Who knows? Who knows how much time has passed? Um. Even in a handcrafted town like this, there is an underground rat's nest. At odds with the law, at odds with good morals, people come to them with dubious challenges and requests say it out loud they're thieves for sure <laughs> you know my master he is your friend and he hasn't changed much since your last you last saw him he always loved to live on the edge never was a stickler for rules but he was never truly vile or cruel and he has changed he wants to seem a kingpin a king a local czar of his own small turf wants to seem not be play a big wheeler dealer not that's not what he really is. He's just 
Thieves and rats never tolerate false leaders. Are you telling me they're all just playing war here? Such is our town. You know it yourself. It's a very good village. Beautiful people live here, infusing it with a very spiritual dream. There's no de no real villainous crime here. Even the rats and the thieves are softer. Hmm. Yeah, right. Would you like to Sounds know what? Well, right. Yeah. Would you like to know what your old friend is truly worried about? He's playing a dashing scoundrel in front of you, but his soul is trembling. It sounds like uh, trying to be, um, oh, what's it called? Um, Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the game has been saved, and that'll be the first episode. And this shit is long. So if anybody actually hours. stuck through, if anybody actually stuck through and actually wants to see another episode of this, let us know because otherwise this is probably gonna be the last one. On the draw. Yeah, I guess we'll keep I'll going. You know, if you actually want us to do so much this. For his oath. <laughs> It's weird when people talk, because there's virtually no talking in this game. Yeah. So until next time, see you guys later. Have fun. Thanks for watching.